The Israeli Navy has hailed the first Sa'ar 6 class missile corvette, the INS Magan. The warship is described as its newest and most advanced ship yet. On November 11, 2020, the flag transfer ceremony took place at Kiel in northern Germany. The ship is built in Germany's Thyssen Krupp marine systems over a three year period. The corvette is due to arrive in Israel in December after it's been put through its paces off the German coast. Magan is the first of four Saar 6 class warships being built for the Israeli Navy. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how potent is Israel's latest Saar 6 warship, INS Magan. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free to play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel. But what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Viewers may note that Israel signed a contract for four new corvettes in May 2015. The construction is being handled jointly by German Naval Yards Holdings and Thyssen Krupp Marine Systems. Work on the INS Magan began in February 2018 and the ship was launched 15 months later. An official naming ceremony for INS Magan took place in Kiel in May 2019. The SAR-6 are a step up in terms of size when compared to the Israeli Navy's SAR-5 class warships, which were built in the US in the mid-1990s and were till now the largest in Israel's fleet. SAR-6 are 295 feet long and have a displacement of 1,900 long tons fully loaded, while the SAR-5 is 281 feet long and has a displacement of 1,255 long tons fully loaded. The SAR-6 warships are derived from the German Navy's own Braunschweig-class corvettes but have significant differences when it comes to sensor and weapons integration. Like the Braunschweig class, the SAR-6 vessels incorporate stealthy design features. Reports indicate that several modifications were done to reduce the radar signature further. This is noteworthy considering the fact that during the 2006 Lebanon War, Hezbollah attacked and damaged an Israel's SAR-5 class corvette using radar-guided anti-ship cruise missiles. INS Magan is loaded with advanced sensors to provide excellent situational awareness. The radar is the ELM2248MF Star Multifunction Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar developed by IAI's ELTA division. The radar system is made up of four active arrays operating in the S-band. Each of the four arrays is positioned in one direction. It also has robust electronic counter techniques to extract low radar cross section targets from complex clutter and jamming environments. The MF Star is considered to be as powerful as the US Navy's Aegis combat system that uses the ANSPY 1D radar and forms the core of America's most advanced Ticonderoga class cruisers and Arleigh Burke class destroyers. The radar can track hundreds of targets simultaneously and is said to be capable of guiding 24 missiles. This gives the ship the ability to defend itself against saturation air attacks depending on the number of available missiles. The MF Star is capable of detecting large aerial targets at distances of greater than 300 kilometers or 185 miles and sea skimming cruise missiles at ranges of greater than 25 kilometers or 15.5 miles. The actual values are thought to be much higher and are classified. INS Magan is packed with several kinds of highly sophisticated weapons 
for different kinds of roles. For the anti-ship role, SAR-6 has Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, Gabriel missile. The latest variant of the missile has active radar guidance as well as a two-way data link. The missile possesses a 240 kilogram or 530 pound warhead and has a range of 248 miles or 400 kilometers. For the air defense role, SAR-6 has Rafael Barak 8 as well as Sea Dome. Barak 8 has a range of 90 kilometers or 56 miles and is capable of taking out highly maneuverable supersonic cruise missiles. A very important feature of Barak 8 is that the minimum engagement range is only half a kilometer or 0.31 miles. So the system can target an incoming hostile object till the very last seconds, potentially giving it the ability to target it multiple times. This enables it to intercept missiles very close to the ship and it performs the role of a point defense SAM as well. INS Megan has 32 vertical launch cells for this. Sea Dome is essentially a sea-based variant of the famed Iron Dome system. It's primarily a sea ram solution that's meant for countering rockets, artillery shells and mortar rounds, but it can also take out other threats which include cruise missiles and drones. The warship of this class will have a pair of Sea Dome systems, each armed with 20 Tamir missiles. Tamir missile is equipped with electro-optical sensors and receives additional targeting information in flight via a data link. It uses proximity fuse triggered blast fragmentation warhead to destroy the incoming projectile. Recent reports suggest that the overall accuracy of the system is improved, especially the homing capability of the Tamir interceptor. This basically means that a lesser number of the interceptors will have to be fired to neutralize a threat. It will make it more cost effective and also enables Sea Dome batteries to take out more threats. Other armament includes Italian made Otto Malara 76mm main gun, two Rafael Typhoon weapon stations with 25mm automatic cannons, and a pair of 324mm tubes for Mark 54 lightweight torpedoes. Since the majority of this weaponry is of indigenous origin, it will be integrated into INS Magan once it arrives at its home port of Haifa in Israel. It's an engineering feat that a relatively small warship has so much firepower. The SAR-5 class has only a single type of surface-to-air missile, two quadruple anti-ship missile launchers, and a Mark 15 Phalanx 20mm close-in weapon system CIWS. Apart from these, Israel's Elbit Systems is equipping the warship with an electronic warfare suite, while Rafael's is providing Sea Gem Active Decoy System. While Braunschweig class has no hangar, SAR-6 has one and is large enough to embark a helicopter. Viewers may note that Israel is planning to acquire eight SH-60F Seahawks from the US. INS Megan and its sister ships are multi-mission platforms. The next three vessels of SAR-6 class are expected to arrive in Israel in 2021, INS Oz in July, INS Atzmaut in September, and INS Nitzhahan in November. The class is configured in such a manner that it can defend assets present in Israel's exclusive economic zone EEZ, in the eastern Mediterranean. Hezbollah and Hamas militants are thought to be improving their capabilities and have their eyes on offshore gas reserves that are key to providing uninterrupted electricity to Israel. SAR-6 warships will have higher endurance and range, which will enable it to patrol and guard maritime boundaries. Viewers may note in this regard that in recent times Turkey has been increasingly assertive when it comes to maritime claims and Israel, along with Greece, Cyprus and Egypt in opposing it. So it can be derived that INS Magan, along with the upcoming warships of this class are equipped keeping several scenarios in mind and Israeli planners seem to have done a great job. INS Megan will surely be an excellent addition to the Israeli Navy.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.